Hello YouTubers, this is an update to my homemade automatic dog feeder. This is going to replace the original design that I had. The original design uh, ran off the of Legos, Lego Mindstorms. And it would turn this drum and it would drop the food down here. And it's worked well for the last year, but a couple things that make it hard to use is first of all, the hole there is, is real small so it's hard to load up with food and it doesn't hold that much to begin with. So it'd have to refill it every couple days. Also the timer inside the Lego Mindstorms isn't that accurate. It would keep getting off by a couple minutes every day and so I'd have to start it uh, over again in order to reset itself. Uh, if I wanted to change the feeding times that involved programming and the software is really outdated. So I wanted something that would be easier to use and so this is what I came up with. This is a wooden box that I built and open the lid up you can see inside that I'm using an auger to deliver the food so the auger bit spins and it pushes the food out through here and it falls out that direction and this is just a one inch auger bit that I got from Harbor Freight Tools connected to the auger bit is this 12 volt DC gear motor spins at 5 RPMs and you see there's a special shaft coupler I had to get for that it goes from 3 8 to 1 quarter inch and I was able to find that online at a robotics website and hooked up to the motor is this 12 volt DC adapter and so as soon as I plug it into the wall the motor starts spinning as you can see there so the motor spins and it'll spin the auger bit pushes food out again to the left and out the hole and as soon as I unplug it the motor instantly turns off so basically I just need something to tell the motor when to turn on and when to turn off so the best thing to use for it that I found was one of these digital electronic timers so the adapter is plugged into here and it will turn the motor on and off at whatever time I want throughout the day so in fact I can even program this to turn on different times different days so it's definitely a lot easier and more versatile than the Lego Mindstorms this can only run something for a minimum of one minute I can't have it run any shorter time than that so that's why the motor I have here can only spin at 5 rpm because I wanted something that wouldn't deliver too much food so right now if it runs for a minute it delivers about a quarter cup of food and that's about what what I wanted for our dog so um, I also wanted to get a motor that spun slow enough because it would have more torque. It needs to have good torque because sometimes the food gets caught there and wanted the motor to be powerful enough to push the food through so it wouldn't get stuck. So digital timer definitely works the best uh, for something like this. So I'm going to put the food in it right now and I'll show you this one in action. Okay, I have some food put into this as you can see. And snowball's eagerly waiting. And wait when it hits 11.55, it's gonna turn on. Waiting for breakfast. There it goes. Here it's getting stuck a little bit, but the motor has enough torque to push that through. So you can see it's all the food's falling down like it should. And that's been one minute. And this is the amount of food that's down there. 